Anybody up for some Chinese takeout? Let's enjoy. Hey everybody, Silver Steeler. And winning image photography. So yeah, some Chinese takeout. What could possibly be in the box? So why don't we do an unboxing? Don't let the sun deceive you. It is not 60, 70 degrees. It is what winning? 32. <laughs> 32 Crazy. degrees. So yeah, we're going to brave it for a little bit. We had to get outside. It's been a while since we did an outside one. So what is this winning? This is the third release of the Black Flag series from Atmax. And this would be the Ching Sai. Four nines fine silver. And we have already said that this is probably the least of our favorite because it looks like it's dominated more by, I don't know, I, I just, why, why don't they have ships on there as much anymore? It seems like everyone's putting out ships and the ships are all tiny. Well, I will say that if you're gonna do a series on pirates, you should include her on it because she's probably the most successful pirate in the history of the world. This is true. 15,000 mintage. Let's uh, look up some info on this. So a little bit more about this coins. Ching Sai, also known as Madam Ching. She was born Si Yang and lived from 1775 to 1844. She was a Chinese pirate leader who terrorized the China Seas during the Qing Empire period of the Qing Dynasty in the early 19th century. She commanded over 1,800 junks. That's another name for a ship. And speaking of junk, pretty much what I feel about half the stuff coming over from China. Anyway, this was crewed by 60,000 to 80,000 pirates, men, women, and occasionally children. Her ships entered into conflict with several major powers, examples such as the East India Company and the Portuguese Empire. Ching Sai and her crew's exploits have since been featured in numerous books, novels, video games, and films about pirates and their way of life in China, as well as in global context. Based on her influence and achievements as a pirate, which included commanding a vast fleet of around 1,500 to 1,800 ships, crewed by up to 80,000 sailors during her peak, she is accepted by many as being the most successful pirate in history. I had no idea. A woman being the most successful pirate. Pretty cool. Anyway, it still happens to be my least favorite of the three so far. It just, to me, just lacks a little bit. The ships are too tiny in the background and Pretty much what they did with the Mayflower series from the U.S. Mint, the ships were just so tiny. I mean, if you're going to have co coins and rounds about ships, feature the ship a little bit. I mean, golly, they're just so tiny back there. But I needed to have it. Like I said, only 15,000 of these have been minted. So I picked up three of them. And uh, winning image photography had to get some Chinese the other night. And we thought, hey... Why not keep that? And who does an unboxing with one of these things? Eh. There you go. I wait the fourth in this series. Until then, this is the third. All right, everyone. Remember to like, subscribe. And all those other good things. We'll see you on the next video. Bye, everyone.